Assalamualaikum, I'm Namra Yaseen and I'm here to introduce our topic that is Pakistan's state on a gap analysis based on planning. The topic chosen uh, was planning in an organization. There are three subsections in our presentation that is planning and goal setting, strategy formulation and execution and managerial decision making. So the objective of our research was to find the company practices, analyze the gap and fill the gap. Hello and Assalamu Alaikum. My name is Aliza Khaled and I'm going to be walking you through the introduction of Pakistan State Oil, commonly known as PSO. PSO was founded on the 30th of December 1976 and has since emerged as Pakistan's biggest energy company. PSO deals in the production, marketing and distribution of various petroleum products that include but are not limited to petroleum, motor gasoline, high-speed diesel, furnace oil, kerosene and jet fuel. These products are dedicated to be used by many industries such as retail, consumer business, aviation and many more. Now over to my team member, Osama. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Osama Bhatt. I am going to talk about the mission, vision and values of PSO. Further, I am going to explain how they make managerial decisions at PSO. For the past 44 years, Pakistan State Oil has been fueling the needs of the nation, acknowledged as the leading public sector company. Talking about their vision first, they tend to enrich lives around the world just like they do in Pakistan. And their mission is to leverage their strengths in order to grow and diversify. Now talking about their values, at first comes innovation. As they are, as they are redefining leadership in energy to build creative and focused organization, next comes integrity. As they are transparent, focused on reliable quality practices in everything they do. After that, teamwork. As they leverage their strengths through coaching for sustainable productivity, furthermore, they are caring and giving as they value for, uh, their customers, employees and work for having good relationships. Lastly, they talk about inclusive leadership as they welcome all point of views to gain understanding and healthy interaction among the organization. We will now be examining two very important sections of our presentation, operations and competition. PSO is a huge corporation that has a number of operations it works tirelessly to carry out every day. Apart from marketing, distribution and sales, PSO also works for the acquisition, storage and movement of products. PSO strives to meet the market demand for various petroleum products and manufactured loops as they operate in a highly competitive market. Their major competitors and rivals include Shell, Total, Atok and Admore who all produce similar products. However, I would like to point out that PSO is still the market leader with a share of 55% despite challenges faced by the ongoing pandemic COVID-19. I will now be presenting to you the first subsection of our report which is planning and goal setting. It is without a doubt that planning is the most important function of management. Planning refers to the process in regards to management in an organization whereby a company decides on what goals it must achieve and the resources needed to achieve it. An important part of planning is therefore, of course, goal setting, whereby an organization, after deciding what they want to work towards, plan on how they can achieve them in the future. Plans may be of many different sorts and may serve different purposes, for example, marketing plans, operational plans, business plans, and etc. It should also be noted that this is the most fundamental out of all management functions, and therefore there are certain levels to goals and plans. As shown below, at the top of the hierarchy, you may see a mission statement, which is the company's reason for being, followed by other types of goals and aims the company wishes to achieve. Now that we have a general idea of what plans and goals actually are, now we will be taking a look at Pakistan State Oil's goals and plans. Pakistan State Oil being a manufacturing, distributing and retail company has to be mindful of many factors, people and environments before coming up with their objectives. As we can see in the table below, PSO has listed economic, business, social and managerial objectives. The eight goals they wish to fulfill are ensuring safe business operations, increasing market penetration, restructuring and organizing their resources, developing their infrastructure, re-engineering of their business process, focusing on high margin products, working towards sust sustainability in the business, and most importantly, like any good company, adding value to society. Before we move on to our next subsection, I would like to highlight how PSO successfully meets the criteria of effective goals. The company's goals clearly cover result areas 
appear to be challenging as well as realistic and will definitely lead towards rewards. What I liked most was how they were clearly stated, specific and measurable. Therefore, their goals are undoubtedly smart. They should be successfully achieved in the given time periods depending on if the goal is short term, mid term or long term. Moreover, after our interview with PSO's administrative manager, we have come to realize that they have carefully undertaken the whole planning process and have thus developed, translated, planned, executed and most importantly monitored all their goals, aims and objectives. I will now be handing this over to Nimra Yasin. What is strategy formulation and execution? Strategy formulation includes planning and decision making in developing organizations, strategic goals and plans. There are three levels of strategies. Corporate level strategy is actually an action taken to gain a competitive advantage through selection and management of mixed businesses competing in different markets. Second, uh, business level strategy. This level strategy focuses on how you will compete. Last, function level strategies uh, are the action and goals assigned to various departments that support your business level and corporate level strategies. These strategies specify the outcomes you want to see achieved from daily operations of specific departments of your business. On to our next uh, slide, SWOT analysis for PSO. SWOT analysis is a strategic planning uh, technique used to help a person or an organization to identify its strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats related to business uh, competition or planning, project planning. Strengths of PSO are good quality products, ability to meet high demands, state-of-art lubricant, and wide coverage of country. Weaknesses are poor brand image, less advertisement, poor customer service and poor housekeeping of NVRO. Opportunities are a growing market, re uh, retrenchment of major competitors, new synthetic oil market and 50% retail dealers and mechanic contribution in loop sales. Threads uh, are low market share, customers are aware but not trying, new competitors and less focus to retail shop. Moving on to our next slide, company findings. Strategies uh, used by PSO uh, are namely output is strict on regular level, synergetic uh, effort from all units of the company, managing budgets, improvement of uh, procedures, Pro uh, performance is reviewed on both micro and macro levels, exploring and proposing GOP, and sufficient credit lines and increase in working capital. Placing all the strategies we've learned, that is portfolio, BCG metrics, diversification, bonus competitive and functional level, we come to know that PSO has become a siding rate to its marketplace share. The overall performance have uh, been sliding downwards and it has now conveyed an unacceptable pu public picture, even though it is one of the high quality organizations. Also, PSO does not have an optimistic surrounding for its managers and has no HRM department in any of its branch. Additionally, it does, uh, doesn't have a uh, capital for its long and short term plans. My recommendations for PSO would be that they keep an alternate, uh, uh, alternative for uh, the fuel, HR and department in every office, constructive environment for its managers, and increased advertising. Now I'm going to talk about the managerial decision making. What is decision? Decision play an important role as they determine both organizational and managerial activities. A decision can be defined as a course of action purposely chosen from a set of alternatives to achieve organizational and managerial objective or goals. Members of the top management team regularly make decisions that affect the future of the organization and its stakeholder, such as deciding whether to pursue a new technology or product line. Decision making process includes six steps. Number one, recognition of decision uh, requirements. Next comes diagnosis and analysis of the causes. Number three, development of uh, alternatives. Number four is selection of desired alternatives. Number five, implementation of those chosen alternatives. And then lastly, evaluation and feedback. Now I'm going to talk about the company findings. According to PSO, communication is the key. Therefore, they have different communication protocols. For example, if a problem arises, 
at somewhere in the plant or in the pipelines, they have different communication protocols for it. So they have uh, uh, the right authority to take the right decisions. Another thing that we found out was that uh, a PSO highly relies on data gathering. For whatever problem they are solving, they look, uh, they look at the, the previous data and the history for that problem and then they make the decision. Another thing was that they, they are, the, the stakeholders for them are extremely important and they communicate with the stakeholders uh, to, to further make decisions. Now I'm going to talk about the gap analysis and recommendation. First come the gap analysis. What we read and learned in the topic of managerial decision making was that decision contrasts as per the measure of certainty, risk, uncertainty or ambiguity in the circumstance. Now that sometimes the managers have the data fully accessible, that is certainty. While the risks say that even though the data is accessible, the future outcomes are liable to change. Uncertainty is when the objectives are there but the data is fragmented. And lastly, ambiguity, ambiguity is when the manager does not have any data. Now to overcome this problem, managers go to alternatives and they pick the alternatives and execute them. According to our findings, what PSO does is that it highly relies on data and previous history. Also they talk about how communication turns out to be a solution for almost everything. But in reality, alternatives have to be considered occasionally. Now to conclude, we would like to thank PSO for being super cooperative and for their valuable contribution to our research project. It really means a lot. Also, we would like to express our sincere gratitude to Ms. Afshin Uma for her teaching and continuous encouragement. Uh, thank you for the support throughout the semester. You're amazing.